If you've been trying to lose weight and you've just not been able to get that needle moving, then today I'm gonna to share with you five simple, easy, and healthy ways to cut 500 calories from your lifestyle and start losing weight properly right there at home. Hey everybody, how you all doing? Peter Carvel. You know, I love this topic. I love helping people, especially beginners, starting their weight loss journey. That first seven to 21 days is so important. And unfortunately, all the products in the market are all based around transformation. And it's about giving you those extreme workouts, extreme diets, and most of us just aren't ready for it once we get started. And so today I wanna to share with you something really cool. And these are five simple ways to cut 500 calories from your lifestyle and kickstart your weight loss. Now, before we get going, in this video, I'm not gonna talk about why you wanna cut 500 calories. I'm not gonna talk about if a calorie is a calorie and all that kind of stuff, okay? We will leave that for another day. Today, I just wanna share with these five simple ways to cut 500 calories, but these five ways is gonna be different to what anybody else has ever told you. Why? Because how you get into a calorie deficit is very important. Yes, if you just wanna lose weight and it's all about aesthetics, a calorie is a calorie. But if you care about building a healthy, strong, and great looking body, which is what I'm all about, then how you get into a calorie deficit is extremely important. And these five ways will improve your health, will provide you with more energy, and it will continue to make sure you stay in a calorie deficit so you continue losing weight. Just know this, one of the dumbest ways to try and lose weight is just to continue cutting your calories, cutting your calories, cutting your calories until you're on some kind of stupid 700 calorie a day eating plan. You exercise for two hours a day and you can't shift the weight anymore because you've destroyed your metabolism along with so many other things and you never wanna get yourself into that position. So always try and stay in that average or moderate calorie deficit of about 20 to 25% once you get started. So let's start with the first one. The very first one is to increase your need. NEAT stands for Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis, and this simply means all the calories you burn that's not directly related to your workout or exercise. So this simply means increasing your activity throughout the day, going for a walk during lunch, waking up and taking a dog for a walk, or if you can, cycling to work and back, stuff like that. And guys, this can easily burn an extra 500 calories a day without even trying. And if you have a fitness tracker these days, it makes it so simple to make sure you increase your non-exercise activity throughout the day. So the first thing you can do is just outside of your workout and exercise, or even if you haven't even started working out and exercising yet, just increase your daily activity. The second thing, guys, is to cut the unhealthy calories from the fluids you take in. You already have heard about this one probably a million times, but guys, it's so easy to get five, six, even a thousand calories in from drinking sugary drink, fruit juices, the wrong kinds of coffees with cream on top and all that kind of things, okay? By just substituting that for healthier versions, which should be mostly water and healthy juices, and teas, and maybe a black coffee here and there, you can cut out 500 calories from your lifestyle without even trying. So just be aware of that, and as you go through the day, maybe check what's in the back of that bottle or the fruit juice. Sometimes fruit juices, you might think it's healthy, but it's just as bad and full of sugars as any other fizzy drink. So the second thing is be aware that you can easily drink yourself fat, but even worse, drink yourself into an early grave because all that sugars is also extremely unhealthy for you. So this is a double whammy. You're gonna get rid of a lot of calories, but also a lot of unhealthy calories and improve your health at the same time. The third one is to simply skip one of your meals, preferably breakfast or dinner. That might get you, if you're into all of this, into a bit more of an intermittent fasting protocol. I'm not gonna talk about the health benefits of that, but skipping one of your meals can easily cut 500 calories from your lifestyle. However, guys, remember, I spoke about this earlier. The dumbest thing you can do is just cutting more and more and more calories, especially from your diet. So if you're already on a 500 calorie diet or a 1,000 calorie diet, do not take out more nutrients from staking out a meal out of your eating plan. Rather use one of the other strategies that we're talking about here. But if you're already eating five, six, seven meals a day, then just cutting out one of those meals can easily help you to get into that calorie deficit. The next one is one that's also so easy to do, 
and that is to cut out or replace unhealthy sources with healthier things like spices and lemon juice and other things that, that can actually bring nutrient value to your meals and make it taste better at the same time. But guys, if you put stuff like mayonnaise on your salad still and ketchup here and there, you can very quickly rack up 500 calories a day. So replacing that with healthy and fresh spices and herbs and lemon juice and some healthy vinegars, you can easily remove 500 calories from your eating plan and improve your health once again at the same time, but also make sure your food continues to be healthy and tasty. And then finally, guys, something I really enjoy doing is replacing one of my meals with a juice, okay? I will put it in the top right-hand corner. I'll put a recipe or a link to you to my juice recipe that went viral here on YouTube. Very healthy, very good. But replacing one of your meals with a juice can potentially, and I say potentially because sometimes some juices can be extremely high in calories. So you need to make sure that the juice you take isn't even higher in calories than your meal. But what I love about a juice once a day is that it gives you this concentrated shot of all these nutrients in all those vegetables and fruits that you might put in there. And on top of that, it also gives your digestive system a little bit of a break, which is always a good thing. So there you go, guys. Those are five very simple ways to cut 500 calories from your lifestyle, but do so in the right way so that you can improve your fitness, improve your health, and make sure you build a healthy, strong, and great looking body without getting to a point where you destroy your metabolism, feel like crap, but hey, we've got six pack abs. That's not where you wanna get to. Now guys, one thing that we need to chat about here before I say goodbye today, and that is don't do all of them at the same time. You can do maybe one or two of them, or maybe just focus on one, but you don't all of a sudden wanna find yourself in a 80% or 1,000 or 2,000 calorie deficit, okay? That will backfire eventually. So make sure you stay in that moderate calorie deficit week after week and then every now and then play around with your carbs, play around with your calories like we do on any of my challenges to make sure we just stoke at metabolism, make sure your hormones is optimized, etc, etc. But the reason I want to show you this is just for those people who are just starting out and who might be struggling and not really knowing how to get themselves in a calorie deficit just to get that needle moving in the first seven to 21 days. And then finally, guys, if you've been wondering, okay, so how would I combine all of this to really kickstart my fat loss? I've got something that I wanna give you guys free of charge, and that is my seven day fat loss kickstart program. And you can come and sign up for it 100% free of charge for seven days at sixweeksixpack.com forward slash kickstarts and you can sign up there and I will take you through a seven day fat loss kickstart and every day I'll coach you and tell you exactly what you need to do to really make sure you kickstart your fat loss properly without doing dumb stuff that will destroy your metabolism and your health. So there you go guys. I know there are so many other ways to get into a calorie deficit but I just wanted to provide you five simple ones that anybody can do. But as always let's have a chat. Put your comments in the comments box and as always guys if you like this video and you know of anybody who can benefit from it please share this, click on that like button, please subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Remember, have fun out there and keep it simple. Bye-bye.